What's up guys, it's Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cloudy Flex ROM for your LG G2. And yes, this is based off of the LG G Flex. Let's get started. <laughs> So let me start off by saying, sadly this does not turn your G2 into a G Flex. Trust me, I tried and it did not work. Apparently, it only gives you the software from the G Flex. A little disappointing, but let's get into the ROM. So yes, this ROM is based off of the LG G Flex. I will be showing you how to install it at the end of the video if you are interested. And one of the biggest features from the G Flex is the lock screen. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Let's take a look at all the features that we get from the G Flex. So the first thing you'll notice from the G Flex when you boot up this ROM are the design of the icons. All the LG icons or all the stock icons that came installed are themed like the theme for the G Flex. Now what I really like about this ROM is he cleaned up some of the annoying features that I had on the G2's software before. But as you can see, here's the lock screen, and basically when you tilt it up or down, it moves around the wallpaper. So I don't know how much battery this is going to waste, but it definitely is a cool thing to show your friends. I don't find it really that useful though. But if we turn on the lock screen again, if you go up to the sky and you swipe, it will kind of give you a different effect than you would get when you swiped from the water at the bottom. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Again, as I said, not very useful, but it does look cool and definitely something that will keep you busy for a couple of minutes. Now, if we move on, as you can see, there's no really added apps. The other added thing that we get from the G Flex is actually the camera. So as I said, the camera is ported from the G Flex. I don't really know what new features that we do get from the G Flex, <laughs> but you can say it is there. Um, just like Samsung, they have a lot of cool features that you could play around with. If you go into mode, it basically looks exactly like Samsung's TouchWiz features that they include. So you could definitely play around with that and the features. And then, of course, we also do get our settings where we get a bunch of different options. We could go change the image size. And once you've done that, we could do stuff like change color effects. A lot of cool stuff to play around with, especially if you take a lot of pictures. So I have to say, I actually enjoyed this ROM a lot. Apps were opening actually a lot quicker than they were on the LG software that I got when I first got the phone. And just swiping around through pages, going through the app drawer, just seemed a lot quicker than it was before. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I felt like this guy did a really good job of cleaning up a bunch of features that I really didn't use. Here we do get the QSlide app, and by the way, there is call recording, so if you want to be a creep and record a phone call with someone, you can do that. And as you can see, there's our QSlide app, there's our beautiful weather widget or app that they give us, and everything just got a little simpler. There's not two setting buttons, there's only one at the top now. You still get all the options that you got on LG's UI, and uh, there's definitely a lot of them. And as I said, everything was really, really quick and smooth. I didn't have any crashes. It was a very fluid experience. If we pop back into the lock screen, I quickly just wanted to show you that slide motion that I did in the beginning of the video. And it basically gives you quick access to three apps, photos, videos, and YouTube. I guess that's one use that you get out of the lock screen. It still wasn't something that I see myself using all the time and I wish they allowed you to go and choose your own apps but I do open YouTube a lot so I guess it is useful for me as I have quick quicker access to open up that app. With my time testing this ROM I didn't really notice any issues with Wi-Fi or data. LTE was working perfectly fine and so was Wi-Fi. I didn't really have any problems with this ROM and it gets updated on a daily basis. Other than that, I didn't really want to go into settings as there were no new features implemented into this ROM. Also, we do get Attaway on this ROM. It doesn't show up in the drawer, but it does automatically remove all your ads. So guys, now I'm going to be showing you how to install this. And as I said, please don't try to bend your phone. So guys, let me say that this does work on all the variants. And you choose your variant through a Roma installer. 
Otherwise, you just in all install the same download link. The first thing you want to do is you want to go and back up your ROM. I always recommend this in case something goes wrong, back it up. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset and just click Wipe and let it wipe your data. I'm going to skip through this, but just give it some time. Next, after that's done, you want to go to Wipe Cache Partition and click Wipe Cache. This will go a little bit quicker. After that, you're going to go into Advanced and click Wipe Dalvik Cache. This will go very, very quickly, as you can see. And now let's move on to the installing the ROM. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go all the way back into install zip and navigate to where you stored the ROM. If you download it to your phone, it will be in your download section. Once you click install, it will take you to a Roma installer. And I'm not going to go in depth with the options that you do get. You do get to remove some bloatware, but this is very important as this is where you choose which model you have. So look carefully. Once you've went through all of that and installed it, all you're going to need to do is click next and reboot. So let's quickly click next, reboot as you can see, and then you're basically done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, do make sure to subscribe down below. Guys, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.